hello guys and welcome back to this short new episode today i'm gonna teach you how to use this uh, hot air station to desolder surface mount uh, components so basically all of them are gonna be like uh, the same uh, settings uh, in the basics division so any desoldering station will have basically two components to it the temperature and the uh, hot air speed so this knob right here determines the hot air speed and these are the ones that I can use to basically change the temperature the docking station now once I remove this you see you hear that it's gonna start uh, heating it start uh, the motor to push air and now it has uh, the 300 degrees uh, Celsius uh, the degree that I chosen and basically now I am ready to desolder so it's worth mentioning that having a no clean flux like this one or any basically anything uh, will significantly help and enhance your uh, desoldering uh, experience so i highly recommend uh, using one so without further ado so let's get started by desoldering our first component Let's try to desolder this capacitor for example. First I'm gonna like put as much as I can from the no clean flux and my temperature is set to 300 and now my hot air is on uh, the middle. I can do the circular motions first to keep everything safe rather than direct uh, at once. Now it will heat up this area around this uh, component until the component itself uh, let's go so now i'm gonna try to basically focus on the pads like this and as you can see it let itself go and that all the that's all there is to it see it is very easy to desolder surface mount components okay so now uh, to desolder this type of inductor which has more or slightly bigger thermal mass than the your typical surface mount component now we need to do some work for for example first i really put solder uh, on the both pads to make it flow better and then i introduced no clean flux see and now we're just gonna do the usual of circular motion first to make sure the heat is spread out and then focus on the pads like this and from the other side yep 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 that's it that's it it let go and now we have uh, successfully desoldered uh, that so as you can see right here in this pad for example let's call it like this it's not really perfect as some residuals are there but you can manage to clean that up using like solder wick or something like that so let's try to desolder this uh, surface mount uh, uh, i'm sorry this through hole capacitor since there is no access to the pads from this side how about we try it from the other side like right here let's add some no clean flux like this so now at 500 degrees for example and very very slow type of uh, hot air i can really feel that it's gonna let go and it lets go like that see couple of seconds using 500 degrees and very slow or maybe mid uh, mid speed uh, thing and it's it's like it's out now for soldering back the inductor that we desoldered in this uh, type first i'm gonna put like the no clean flux then i'm gonna bring back any type of solder paste i have one uh, which looks like a gel like this i'm gonna apply it see apply it to the pad of course there are better ways to do this but uh, this one works well and i'm gonna put it on the inductor pads of camera and now i think the inductor is ready and let me put it in its place 
doesn't need to be exact a rough placement is okay and now let's bring the hot air here and let's watch it doing its job going at it from another angle can see stuff are melting and that's gonna be pretty much it let it just cool for uh, quite a while and it will be uh, fully uh, soldered uh, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, got you to an idea that uh, surface mount uh, rework uh, is really not so hard and uh, stay tuned to the channel and I'll see you next time